Research Center in Sudan. Our presentation objective is to share our experience with SecuTrail program. Firstly, we are going to talk briefly about the Mycetoma Research Center itself, and then we are going to talk about our experience with SecuTrail program. And lastly, we are going to talk about our future plan. So let's get into the center. Mycetoma Research Center is recognized globally as a world leader and authoritative advisor in mycetoma management and research. The center was established in 1991 under the umbrella of University of Conform and it's a WHO collaborating center. Mycetoma itself is a common problem. It's endemic in many tropical and subtropical areas in what's so called the mycetoma belt and Sudan seems to be the mycetoma homeland. The center had managed to include mycetoma at the WHO neglected tropical diseases list after a long and difficult journey. The center had published more than 400 papers. And as you see here, this is the center website where you can find more information about the center and its work. So let's get into the second trial. Firstly, we would like, would like to talk briefly about Professor Gerhard Ford Dingen, who introduced this system to us. He's professor from University of Applied Sciences and Arts. He has doctoral studies at the Institute for Medical Law, Human Resources and Health Politics at the University for, for Health Science. He has 88 publications and his current position is professor, clinical research and epidemiology. Who are we? We are 13 recently graduated doctors who were trained and started to work at the MRC about six months ago. And here is the archive where about 10,000 patient records are stored at the center. And recently the center started to use Secretrial, thus we should upload all these files into the system. Why we choose Secretrial? Because as you saw in the previous video, this huge number of files and huge number of patient data should be stored in a safe way. And the safest way, of course, is a cloud-based system. And it also allows easy access and easy retrieval of all the patient information, which hopefully will facilitate the center future work and research. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Shaima Kuku. I will go on to proceed from here, talking about how we are using CQ trial program and the challenges that faced us during our journey. As we see here, this image reveals how the initial reception looks like, the design based on the MRC file. The file itself consists of many variables, in form of patients, social demographic data, clinical history, clinical examination, investigations that are done to the patient, and the management plan, which all will be about 50 variables. All this data in the patient's first visit. But as we know, mycetoma is a chronic disease and its treatment requires a long time. Therefore, the patient should come for follow-up every six weeks.
This slide demonstrates the part in which we enter the ultrasound image uh, report. Firstly, we scanned them and we uploaded them here as we see in this part of this picture. When the patient came after six weeks, we entered the follow-up data. We entered the follow-up data in form of the patient's new complaints, investigations, and the management plan accordingly. All will be about 35 variables. What about our current situation? Despite the fact that we were facing many challenges and difficulties, Starting with this huge number of files, presently all of us entered about 6,854 files and we have 2,646 files left. Here we, you can see the patient's list where all the files are stored. So if we want to retrieve any patient's information, we just enter the patient's ID number, the file will appear immediately. During our journey, we faced many challenges categorized as a problems related to the file, problems related to the task, and finally the technical problems. We will mention it one by one briefly. Starting with the problems related to the file, we have three parts. Firstly, huge number of files, which is about 10,000 files. Secondly, we are struggling with the doctor's handwriting. As we see in this picture, believe me, this is very difficult to read it. Thirdly, we have missing data. Patients' records were not fully written. Then we move to the problems related to the task. Formal working hours are not enough. Therefore, each one of us had to take the work at home. Technical problems, no auto save. Therefore, data will be deleted in case of session timeout, bad network connection, and instability. As we are from a developing country, we encounter a lot of these issues, electrical problems and our outages. My colleague will proceed. Good evening. This is Dr. Amuna. I'll be proceeding with the presentation starting by session timeout. Okay, the session timeout limit is 20 minutes, which is considered short, especially if doctors will use it directly in the refer clinics. Okay, second, a once entered wrong ID number cannot be edited unless the file is deleted. So if you entered all the data of the follow-ups, you cannot change the ID number unless you have deleted the file and then you re-enter it all over again. We couldn't upload CT, MRI, or X-ray images. This feature is only available for ultrasound. Moreover, there is no add more option in the ultrasound section. As an example, if a patient came with 10 ultrasound images, and then we scan those images together and uploaded them as a PDF file. But after six months, as an example, the same patient came back again with a new ultrasound image. We cannot uplo upload this new image as a single ultrasound form. We have to take down old, that old file and then rescan the 11 ultrasound files and upload it again as a new one PDF file. Okay, server not found. Sometimes around 3 a.m. it says server not found. It seems like an issue. It's this problem occurs when you try to save the data you've entered around 3 a.m. It's kind of looks similar if the, if the server is updating or something like that. The, the server, if you have if you haven't saved the data, it's gonna be lost. Possible solutions for these problems. First of all, advise the doctors to write full patient data in a clear and understandable way. 
Second, include auto save to the form, which will be helpful. Increase session timeout limit or add offline upload option. As an example, add a possibility for the form to be filled offline and then whenever there is an internet connection or a free time for the doctor, he can upload that form or that data he entered. This will solve all the technical issues we've encountered. Our future plan. Data entry of all files will end in next July. Orientation of doctors on how to, how to use sick trial and applicate it directly on the refer clinics. Since now we are entering the old files in the archive, and then starting next July, we will start to use it directly in the refer clinics and use it in the future researches. Use it as a data analyzing tool in future researches, which is, we don't know yet how, but we would be pleased to have a guider on how to use circuit trial as a data analyzing tool. Neglected tropical disease centers can adopt this program. A lot of visitors to the, to the mycetoma research center showed uh, an interest in the sick trial and wanted to know more about it. Okay, as a quick recap, 30 years of excellence and leadership, Mycetoma Research Sudan had been the main center. The center recently started using sick trial, which hopefully will be very helpful in center future work and will be easily easy to use in the future researches. A gratitude. We are deeply grateful to Professor Jehart, who gave us access to this program and the opportunity to share our experience with you. We would like to end the presentation with a small quote in Dutch. Dienst is Dienst und Schnauf is Schnauf. Vielen Dank. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask.